The idea that we can know the future is an idea well past its sell-by date. But the fact that we can't forecast the future doesn't have to leave us helpless. It means we have to ask different kinds of questions about how to make our organizations robust, well-protected against surprises, and resilient, more capable of recovering from them. Since the pandemic, one of the main things that we've learned is people really are good at change when they know why. We've had a sort of belief that they're not very good because they resist change. But actually, in this context, knowing exactly why and for whom, change was incredibly quick. Trust in business is an absolute driver of productivity, legitimacy, and reputation. And what we've found in the pandemic is that the more we give, the more we get back. What kind of people does this high trust working environment need? In particular, I think it needs people who are capable of change, who embrace change, and who embrace lifelong learning. In particular, as we're going to be faced by problems we can't even begin to define yet, what we need are well-stocked minds, minds that have a rich life of knowledge, experience, expertise to call upon when confronting situations we've never seen. In an unpredictable world, it's in the middle of crises that we discover whether we have really all the sources of resilience that we need. When I wrote my book Uncharted, I thought a lot about what we can plan for, but then I also thought there are moments when suddenly, bang, you're in a crisis you didn't see coming, and suddenly everything you've worked for hangs in the balance. What allows companies in those moments to survive? Forget normal. The business thinker Peter Drucker once said that a healthy business can't flourish in a sick society. So our challenge now is not just to build companies that can survive, but regenerative organizations that in sustaining themselves, sustain us all.